Today I'm making a quiche and I'm making it with some chopped up zucchinis, some mushrooms, and some sliced red onions. So I'm sauteing that in about two tablespoons of butter and I also added some fresh ground pepper and some sea salt. I'm just looking for my pie plate. Sure. Found it. I just used this glass Pyrex. I recently got rid of a few extra pie plates and I have not missed them, so I just have the one. It smells amazing right now. Love the smell of cooking onions. I just used this pre-packaged pie crust. I think it's Pillsbury. Okay, so I've placed my cooked veggies in the pie crust that I unrolled and stuck in the Pyrex. Now I'm just adding some grated up cheddar cheese, probably about one cup. It doesn't really matter. You can use it however much or little you feel like that day. You can also use whatever kind of cheese you want. One of my other favorites to use is feta. Feta is so good in a quiche. I use three eggs. I add in creme fraiche to my eggs instead of milk or cream. Now you just uh, add some fresh ground pepper and sea salt and mix it up. Keep mixing until the crumb fresh gets all incorporated and it's all looking pretty uniform. I just mix it up in the same thing that I grated the cheese into so I don't dirty an extra dish. And just distribute it over the cheese and veggies. And I just sort of go around in a thin stream just to make sure that it's spread around evenly because it isn't really that much egg. So you sort of have to drizzle it over. And I just give it a little jiggle. Now I've just pinched down the crust all the way around just so that it sits closer to the filling. And then I put it in a 375 degree oven. I put it in for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes I like to check it. The timer went off so I'm checking it out. It doesn't look quite done yet. I like mine pretty done and there's lots of veggies in there so I want to make sure that it's really cooked. Okay it's been a few more minutes so it's looking a little more cooked exactly how I like it. So I'm going to take it out. With my gigantic element. And I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna cut this baby right now. So it's still super duper hot. Usually I would probably wait a bit until it cools off a little, but I'm really starving, so I'm digging in right away. You'll see it's still bubbling in the middle, it's so hot. And the mushrooms did release a bit of liquid into this, but it doesn't seem to really be a problem.
So I just like to separate the crust from the side first. Grab up that extra filling. Yum, yum. And voila, here is our quiche. A quick midweek meal for lunch. Super delicious and healthy. Hey everybody, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. It's the quiche that I made. It looks and smells amazing. Um, yeah, I like to make quiche like maybe once a week usually. It's an easy way to get a whole bunch of veggies in and also use up any veggies that are kind of kicking around in the fridge. Um, yeah, I will post a link to the recipe that I use. Um, it's adapted from another blogger. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if she's blogging anymore or vlogging at all, but she had made a video about how to make quiche and I sort of just, I just wing it really now. Like in this case, I put probably more creme fraiche than I normally would only because I wanted to use it up because there wasn't much left. It's a super forgiving recipe and just something that's super easy to whip together. Um, yeah. And it's healthy too, for the most part. I mean, except for probably the crust, but it's okay. I don't mind too much. Um, yeah. So I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. The snow is finally starting to melt here, so it's a lot easier. Um, out and about with the kids and yeah, things are going fantastic. If you like these videos and want to see more, please click subscribe and thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.